In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, good evening to all of you. Hope we are all doing well. We are doing well here at St. Michael's Basilica. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, from today we begin the Holy Week and today we remember the Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, sanctify these branches. with your blessing that we will follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you. And immediately you will find a donkey tied and a call with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them. And he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a called the foal of your donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their clocks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread the cloths on the road, and others cut branches from the trees 
and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is a prophet, Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The servant of the Lord said, The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with your word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced, therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Your response, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shivered. I can count all my hopes. My God, my God, 
why have you forsaken me? They divide my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. And you, offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, and all you offspring of Israel. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in, in human likeness, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment, he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, my time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them. And they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not a Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But 
woe to that man by whom the son of man is betrayed it would have been better for that man not to have been born judas who betrayed him said surely not a rabbi he replied you have said so while they were eating jesus took a loaf of bread and after blessing it he broke it gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body then he took a cup and after giving thanks he gave it to them say drink from it all of you for this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins i tell you i will never again drink of this fruit of the wine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's kingdom when they had sung the hymn they went out to the mount of olives then jesus said to them you will all become deserters because of me this night for it is written i will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered but after i am raised up i will go ahead of you to galilee peter said to him though all become deserters because of you i will never desert you jesus said to him truly i tell you this very night before the cock crows you will deny me three times peter said to him even though i must die with you i will not deny you and so said all the disciples then jesus went with them to a place called gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit here while i go over there and pray he took with him peter and the two sons of zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated then he said to them i am deeply grieved even to death remain here and stay awake with me and going a little farther he threw himself on the ground and prayed my father if it is possible let this cup pass from me yet not what i want but what you want then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and he said to peter so could you not stay awake with me one hour stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of temptation for the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak again he went away for the second time and prayed my father if this cannot pass unless i drink it your will be done again he came and found them sleeping for their eyes were heavy so leaving them again he went away and prayed for the third time saying the th same words then he came to the disciples and said to them are you still sleeping and taking your rest see the hour is at hand and the son of man is betrayed into the hands of sinners get up let us be going 
See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with him with a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign saying, The one I will kiss is a man arrested. At once he came up to Judas, to Jesus, and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father? And he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels. But now, but how then would the scriptures be fulfilled? Which say it, which say it must happen in this way. At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, but, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Cephas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days, the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? What is it? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, said He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, Christ. Who is it that struck you? 
Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, you also were with Jesus, the Galilean, but he denied it before all of them say, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him and he said to the bystanders, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse and he swore and oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to pilot the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back to the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, what is that to us? See to it yourself, throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest taking the pieces of silver said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury since they are blood money. After, confer after conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's feet as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day, then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And they took the 30 pieces of silver the price of the one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price. And they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused, accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave, gave him no answer, not even to a single charge so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas, and or Jesus, who is called the Christ? For he realized that it was out of jealousy 
that they had handed him gold while he was still while he was sitting on the judgment seat his wife sent word to him have nothing to do with that innocent man for today i have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for barabbas and to have jesus killed the governors again said to them which of the two do you want me to release for you and they said barabbas while they said to them then what should i do with jesus who is called the christ all of them said let him be crucified then he asked why what evil has he done but they shouted all the more let him be crucified so when pilate saw that he could do nothing but rather than a riot was beginning he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd say i am innocent of this man's blood see it to yourselves then the people as a whole answer is blood be on us and on our children so he released barabbas for them and after flogging jesus he handed him over to be crucified then the soldiers of the governor took jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole cohort around him they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and after twisting some thorns into a crown they put it on his head they put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him say hail king of the jews they spat on him and took the reed and stuck him on the head after mocking him they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him then they led him away to crucify him as they went out they came upon a man from cyrene named simon they compelled this man to carry his cross and when they came to a place called golcada which means place of his skull they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall but when he tasted it he would not drink it and when they had crucified him they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots then they sat down there and kept watch over him over he said and they put the charge against him which read this is jesus the king of the jews then the two bandits were crucified with him one on his right and one on his left those who passed by derided him shaking their heads and saying you who destroy the temple and build it in 3 days save yourself if you are the son of god come down from the cross in the same way the chief priests also along with the scribes and elders were mocking him saying he saved others he cannot he cannot save himself he is a king of israel let him come down from the cross now and we will believe believe in him he trusted in god let god deliver him now if he wants to for he said i am god's son the bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way 
from noon on darkness came over the whole land until 3 in the afternoon and about 3 o'clock jesus cried with a loud voice eli eli lema sabakta that is my god my god why have you forsaken me when some of the bystanders heard it they said this man is calling for elijah at once one of them ran and got a sponge filled it with so wine put it on a stick and gave it gave it to him to drink but the other said wait let us see whether elijah will come to save him then jesus cried again with a loud voice and breath is last at that moment the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom the earth shook and the rocks were split the tombs were also opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised after his resurrection they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many now when the centurion and all and those with him who are keeping watch over jesus saw the earthquake and what took place they were terrified and said truly this man was god sent many women were also there looking on from a distance they had followed jesus from galilee and had provided for him among them were mary magdalene and mary the mother of james and joseph and the mother of the sons of zebedee when it was evening there came a rich man from arimathea named joseph who was also a disciple of jesus he went to pilate and asked for the body of jesus then pilate ordered it to be given to him so joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb which he had hewn in the rock he then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away mary magdalene and the other mary were there sitting opposite the tomb the next day that is after the day of preparation the chief priests and the pharisees gathered before pilate and said sir we remember what that impostor said while he was still alive after three days i will rise again therefore command the tomb to be made secure until the third day otherwise his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people he has been raised from the dead and the last deception would be worse than the first pilate said to them you have a god of soldiers go make it as secure as you can so they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by 
sealing the stone. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we were and we are still on our Linton journey. And from today, we begin the most important week that is to say the holy week the message of Pam Sunday or Passion Sunday is to examine our lives to see do we carry Jesus within us and bear witness to him my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the Mother Church celebrates the Pan Sunday or Passion Sunday, which marks the beginning of the Holy Week. It is the most important week in the liturgical calendar. Today we celebrate the solemn and triumphant entry of Jesus our king into the holy city of Jerusalem. Our life is a blend of everything. The liturgy of the world invites all of us to reflect on the suffering of our Savior. We are all invited by the Catholic Church to change our way of life by meditating the passion, crucifixion, and death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross for our salvation. Let us strive to make this holy week more meaningful. Let us shout Hosanna to the son of David as one family for Hosanna means save us now let us spend more time in praying and fasting and giving alms especially during this holy week let us continue to pray for the whole world and all the brothers and sisters affected with covid 19 and let us participate in this holy week more meaningfully and ask our Savior Jesus to help us to meditate upon his passion, crucifixion and death. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, only Son of Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and was buried, he descended into hell, and the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the fires of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
my dear brothers and sisters as the solemnity of easter approaches let our prayer to the lord be all the more insistent that all of us and the whole multitude of the baptized together with the entire world may come to share more abundantly in this sacred mystery that god may be pleased to increase faith and understanding in the catechumens who are to be initiated by holy baptism in the coming paschal solemnity let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that peoples in need may find help and that peace and security may be firmly established everywhere let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that all who are afflicted or suffering temptation may be strengthened by his grace let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that all of us may learn to distribute the fruits of self denial for the good of those in need let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us also pray for all the brothers and sisters affected with covid-19 and let us also pray for the whole world in silence O great Saint Rocco, deliver us, we beseech you, from the scourges of God. Through your intercession, preserve our bodies from contagious diseases and our souls from the contagions of sin. Obtain for us healthy air, but above all purity of heart. Assist us to make good use of faith, to bear suffering with patience and after your example to live in the practice of penance and charity that we may one day enjoy the happiness which you have merited by your virtues saint rocco pray for us saint rocco pray for us saint rocco pray for us let us also pray for our personal intentions in silence Have mercy, O Lord, on the prayers of your church, and turn with compassion to the hearts that bow before you, that those you make sharers in the divine mystery may never be left without your assistance. Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, lift up your heart, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is in right and just. It is truly right and just of a duty and of a salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty, his death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim and say holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar event, Sapu was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your will is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part of your body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread of the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, to the Francis our Pope, and Christian our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, K. Richard, Ella, and Burton, McLanagan, whom you are called from this world to yourself. Grant that who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one thing in his resurrection. Lord, we also pray for the whole world, especially the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. Lord, bless all the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. Touch some and heal them. Be a blessed mother, pray for them. We also pray for all our parishioners, Lord, as we enter into the Holy Week, help all of us to meditate your passion, your crucifixion, and your death on the cross for our salvation. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the spouse Saint Joseph, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your sin. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we had to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress. As we await the blessing, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, 
for the kingdom and the power and glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. It's of Christ. Lamb of God, you take us, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take us, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take us, sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, if this chalice cannot pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Let us pray. 
nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe. So by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let's all bow down our heads for the special blessing. May God, the Father of mercies, who has given you an example of love in the passion of his only begotten Son, granted by serving God and your neighbor, you may lay hold of the wondrous gift of his blessing. Amen. So that you may receive the reward of everlasting life from him. Through whose earthly death you believe that you escape eternal death. Amen. And by following the example of his self-abasement, may you possess a share in his resurrection. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's all go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for watching our Mass and YouTube live stream. God bless you all. Have a fruitful, holy week. Thank you.